just got back from skiing. I thought that skiing holiday had problems. So the last day when I felt a bit wished. And then uh, the next day, uh, they dialed with 911. Ambulance came, whisked me off. And the next thing I knew, I was in an intense coma for five weeks in Derrida. And uh, then one day, they wheeled me out into the healing garden they've got at Derrida. The first one in the country. And there was an incredible moment when I woke up and I saw the flowers and felt the sun on my face and I actually came out of it. Well, five months later, you're climbing the tallest peak in Cornwall. How was that for you? I was just about able to get up to the top of Mount Willie, which is not all that high, but it's a bit of a pull for somebody of my age. And uh, it worked. And um, and we're raising, we're well on the way to getting the 100,000. How does it feel so far, all the support that you've received from the funding? Because as you say, you're over that halfway point now. It must be nice to see you edging closer to that goal. It's wonderful. I mean, it's been the response has been extraordinary. It's people of my age who get got it back in March who are not expected to live. My dream is that every hospital with an intensive care unit should have a little area with plants growing and fresh air. I mean, I'm living testimony of the fact that it helps and it works.